What's going on everybody how you doing welcome back to the channel today or tonight rather because now the sun is gone uh, so today we're gonna be going ahead and we're gonna be trying something different uh, we tried this before but we didn't record any of it we got some extremely hilarious results mm -hmm. and we're gonna show you some of those results that we did get and then we're also gonna see if we can also go through and replicate some of the ones or not replicate but get some very interesting ones like spicy ones like what she got last time she got some really good ones uh, based on what we're talking about, it's called Talk to Transformer. Uh, now, we actually saw this in a Game Grumps video, and we're just like, this is amazing. We have to do this because there's so many different random things we just say off the wall sometimes. And we're just like, huh, I wonder what the rest of that could be. Uh, but another, more or less what Talk to Transformer is, is that it's an AI. You go through it. What, what are you doing? Just move your arm. I'm trying to talk right now. I know. Move your arm. Out of the way. She's being a weirdo. She's tired and delusional right now. Either way, yeah. Talk to Transformer is an AI where you will input the text down here in the box and everything like that. And then it would literally will come down here and it will complete the sentence and everything like that. It will do up to about like what that much per se. Sometimes it matters on what yeah. it is. Uh, so, like, for example, we'll do a test prompt. We'll do uh, Jinxie Elon Jinxie. Musk oh. debut album. Just as a test. It'll show you one of their default ones. While not normally known for his musical talent, Elon Musk is releasing a debut album with co-produced songs inspired by the blind faith of his late mother. Musk mother, divorce... Okay, now it's, see, it's just giving some real stuff as far as I know. Uh, but yeah, so that's what it does. It's an artificial intelligence that is completely random randomly generated it's its thought process and it just makes it it's nothing that's really been written before usually most of the time this is like some real stuff right here though uh so we're gonna go ahead and we will start off our own what do you want me to put in well not elon Musk's debut album just go to the uh, regular one okay custom so custom prompt. prompt just type in jinx and daisy and see what happens all right our cats our names. cats jinx and daisy that's what we're gonna leave it at and we're going to complete the text. So we'll scroll down here. You can all see that. We'll wait for it to finish because it's going through and it's making literally everything. Wait, are they talking about Pokemon? This is literally talking about Pokemon. Okay, Jinx and Daisy first cross paths in the Kanto region. Yes! What is that? Kanto region. It's, it's Pokemon. Okay. I'll pull up a map and show you later. Thank you. <laughs> During the local sport festival that she organizes, wait, which Ooh. who? Jinx and Daisy first cross paths in the Kanto region during a local sports festival that she organizes. In which Daisy, in which Daisy uh, has the dubious honor of being first to sing oh King God. of the Hill. What? Daisy leaps to the front, claiming that she's the only one, uh, claiming she's the only one up for the honor and accepts the role of the Grand Marshal. She only looks vaguely familiar and later meets Ash, Gary Oak, Ash's father, Professor Oak, as well as the Pokemon League speaker, Jeff. He has a crush on Daisy, I guess. After a rainstorm, which... There's nothing about Jinx. There's literally nothing about Jinx. Try that again. Okay, we're going to do it again, even though that's awesome. We got some Pokemon stuff. We're going to try this again. All right, see, we got, we got a little bit more this time. All right, Jinx and Daisy were still meeting outside to keep a constant watch on Alyssa's mother, Miley, who hadn't seen either of her children in years. What? Miley called into the TV to have... Uh, Miley called into <laughs> the TV to have a private conversation with the boys. What? I didn't know they were inside the TV. Is this poltergeist? They're here. Uh who were playing video games in their bedrooms to relay her fears that she had become a thug. The no, thug no, no, life no, no. chose her. Thug. Uh, the thug life chose her. <laughs> Alyssa, who was about to turn 16, had grown up with a parent and mother and worked in a beauty salon. When they got married, they split. Alyssa had grown up with Anne. 
You know, and we'll do this. This is something we also did. We're going to go ahead and take the last part but of this. It says nothing about Jinx or Daisy it, again. Again, it's just it's just stuff about whoever the fuck Miley is. And um, Alyssa. And Alyssa. Now we're going to hear about the rest of Alyssa's story. And we're going to put in all of this. And we're going to let it complete the rest of the story for us. Alyssa, who was about to turn 16, had grown up with a parent and mother. Okay. And worked in a beauty salon. When they got married, they split. Alyssa had grown up with an alcoholic oh father. To Jesus Christ. And was recently kicked out of an abusive relationship. <laughs> and then moved back home with the she, abusive father. Okay. Alcoholic but as father. a Alcoholic father, who was probably also abusive. But as a stay-at-home mom, she was still young. What? She has a kid? Marie I'm... had never been to school, so she didn't know much about love, family, or finding support. I didn't know school taught you all that. But now she was getting a steady $18.20 an hour as a janitor. Fuck, I wish I made that much money. Jesus. Well, There's still nothing about Jinx and Daisy. And this has all escalated to her being a young mother and not knowing shit about life. Um, okay, let's just change it up. Let's get out of the Jinx and Daisy phase. Uh, uh, put our names. Stacy. And? Dominique. No, asshole, stop it. <laughs> Everyone calls you that for some reason. Yeah, because they think my name is spelled with a Q-U-E. You're my special boy. Our uh, last name. Our last names are now Pruitt. <laughs> At least there's a P and an E in there for the last name. They're close. Stacy and Dominic Pruitt founded Todd's Bump in 2008. Nice. Selling what Pruitts call Happy Kims. Dom. What? Why didn't you tell me about this business? I didn't know about this business either. I just found out. To the Reddit community and beyond. Oh, oh nice. We're selling to Reddit. Uh, Pruitt and Sherrod also sell branked patches to remedy acne-prone skin. The fuck? Todd's Bump recommendations typically include, among other things, uh, itch cream. Hydrocort itching cream. Hydrocortisone. Hydrocortisone. Okay. Tick lock patches, medicated facial cleanser, a nightly cleansing oil. It's a loose empire of hate and being the enemy of social justice words. What, what the <laughs> fuck? That literally made no sense. Okay, so let's do this. Um, uh, she's no, 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 no. Oh. Let's do this. Okay. Well, I want to do one now. You've been choosing all the other ones. Okay. What? Go. No, you go. No, you go. No, 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 no. no. no, no. This is about you. This no. is your video. You want? You're in the video. This is also your video. Dominic stood in the room, and and stared at the tuxedo on the bed. Okay. Even though I didn't really wear a tux, but. It's bad. I'm saying you weren't breathing. What? What? Is that how you spell stared? Yeah. If it was wrong, a grammarly would correct you. Okay, so Dominic stood in the room and stared at the tuxedo on the bed. We are going to the casino on Thursday. It is a joint play, they said. As for the evening dress, you are not to dress however you wish. Penny hesitated. She couldn't tell what to think about this. She could dress how she wanted to dress, but her costume could be considered a kind of identity and a gift given to her by the future Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> What if she wasn't special enough? What if she wasn't... What if she was of the... What does that have to do about you in a tuxedo? That literally had nothing to do with me okay, in a tuxedo. Okay, you choose one. Okay. Um, <coughs> you can go inappropriate if you want. Uh, I'm going to go highly inappropriate, and I'm going to have to blur all of the bad words, so this is going to be a lot of extra editing for me. Yay! Or you can just use... The proper words and they can't be edited out because you're using nope i'm just gonna go with bad words she strode don't say any of the bad words out loud his big huge d yeah and, our, and then our, and then our cat meowed <laughs> and then our cat Meowed. I thought you were going to put a totally different word there for me. <laughs> and then our pussy meowed? No, our cat came. <laughs> I would be more disturbed than anything. You're eating your food, right? Yes. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, hold on. I need to make some uh, adjustments on here. She stroked his big, huge cock. I'm gonna, obviously, you can figure that out, what it says, because it's gonna be blurred. Anyways, she stroked his big, huge D. D. And then our cat meowed in surprise and growled. What? Did you like that, mistress? My husband asked her. Jinx! I'm very confused. <laughs> he had a very good orgasm. She smiled. She knelt and took him in her mouth and sucked him to a huge orgasm. Oh my god, this cat is big. <laughs> I yelled with glee. I was really impressed with how large his cock was. He came like a piston again and again and again. <laughs> she took him in her mouth and sucked his cock dry to a huge. What does this have to do with the cat? This Why has... are you stroking the cat so inappropriately? I don't Please know. Please leave her cat alone. Oh, I am so disturbed now. Okay, um, let's go ahead and put this in. <coughs> we flew at hyper speed. And the D flew in his mouth. That's If that comes up, I'm more disturbed than anything. We flew at hyperspeed. Once I got there, the entire room was filled with teleporters. Okay. Other than the gate and the security beam, there was nothing else. Those bosses look like some giant mechanical machine to me now, but isn't it necessary to fight them? We can't just destroy the world. I hugged Dorian tightly, nearly choking on his knee. Kisses! Oh, on his kisses. Oh, Shit! Dang, ah, I can't read right now. What are you doing to the knee? <laughs> That's you not what I meant. Like you the ground like, it's not what I, I meant. You here. That's not what I meant. I hugged Dorian tightly, <laughs> nearly choking on his kisses. Not kisses. His knees, right, Doc? But why? Because the item that they wanted that they wanted was the key to their ship. They wanted to open the door that led to their ship and. All right, I don't know where that was going. Let's try to get something very interesting in here. What do you think we should put down? He heard her scream from across the street, and he turned. He heard her scream from ah, across the street. You want me to just leave it there? Yeah. Okay. He heard her scream from across the street. You put steep. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Or cross the steet. Okay. Um, so we're just going to go with steet since I screwed it up. And then we'll correct it to street in just a minute. Um, he heard her scream from across the steet <laughs> and swam down to her. What? What's a steet? <laughs> Is that an actual thing? Oh, God. Steet, Urban Dictionary. Oh, oh God. God. The seam-like band of a tissue that runs vertically down men's scrotum. What? So is he swimming down through a scrotum? <laughs> I'm very disturbed by the sentence now. Aww, he heard her scream from across the steet, so she didn't <laughs> like what she saw when she looked up at the scrotum and swam down to her. <laughs> Better question, are they swimming on a giant scrotum since he swam down to it? And is the giant in a bathtub? So many questions. He leapt over to her, grabbing the girl by the back of the neck, and okay, pulling like her cat now? Yeah, and pulling her from the water. Hey, they were in water. What's going on? Aren't you dead? Where are your clothes? Why didn't you save me? What? What? <laughs> she told me you were. She told me you were. You were your father's favorite. He said. He stepped back. Did she really tell you? Yes, because I do this all the time. She said, pointing at the line of coins on the wall. What? What? All right, we're going to correct this to street. Yeah, because... And, uh... <coughs> Hi, Jimsy. He heard her scream from across the street and pushed through her outstretched arms. What? Ah! Her shoulders slammed into his chest and she was able to press him back against the wall. Oh. He stumbled back a bit, looking up to see her arcing her own muscles oh, and baby. closing the distance between them. I'll miss you, he groaned. She wagged her finger at him and he had given give her points for boldness me too she muttered a pair of figures emerged from the shadows and one of them leaned forward to pull out um i need to continue the sentence wait we want to know what they pulled out yes i need to know what they pulled out 
or why they pulled out. Oh, God. <laughs> a pair of figures emerged from the shadows, and one of them leaned forward and pulled out a blue-framed yellow lantern. What? The other had a sil the other had a silhouette of a dragon's head on the front of it, and will you stop shaking my leg, Jesus? Sorry. On the front of it, and a short yellow robe. And for you and her, said a mysterious film of voice, two priceless treasures, the consummate soul of a dragonborn, okay, the object itself is truly valuable. To steal such an object is to violate its purity, to completely degrade it into dust. The silver-haired man in the robes looked at the other with a... And then it just stops. So sometimes this AI is reliable, and sometimes it's not. Okay. All right, let's do... Two more sentences, but we, they gotta be really, really good. They gotta get a very interesting start. It can be provocative or it cannot be provocative. Yeah. I already know what I'm gonna type in. I'm trying to fix it with your mouse. She walked in the house and found him naked on the couch with a... Oh, God. I don't even want to know what this is going to put. She walked in the house and found him naked on the couch with an ice drink. Oh, okay. The ice drink. They didn't have sex, according to the affidavit. What? This a is police a, report? a police report. Okay. The woman told her father, who then called the police. It's unclear if it was... The elder Sturdivant, who arrested Stites, according to the affidavit, Stites' mother told investigators she saw a business card in Sturdivant's bedroom indicating a party was planned. When questioned, <laughs> Sturdivant said he had no idea anyone was planning a party and never indicated he was the host, according to the, probably the affidavit. Uh, what does that have to do with being naked sitting on your couch? I have drinks? no idea at all. All right, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to see if it can give me some interesting Star Wars facts. So let's do this. What? Baby Yoda. I am actually going to mention Baby Yoda in here. Yes. If you have not gotten Disney Plus yet, this is not sponsored by any means, but if you have not gotten Disney Plus yet, get it. Watch The Mandalorian. It's amazing. Baby Yoda. How do you... Oh, it's on there. Mandy. No, yes, it is. Oh, it's okay. The Mandalorian picked up. Oh, I have a baby present Yoda. For you. What? Huh? Hold on. Let me put this in real quick. You spelled baby wrong. No, I didn't. B a b y. The picked no, up it's baby it's Yoda. yeah. It corrected it. What? You have a gift for me? What do yeah, you mean? Yeah, I found that Dollar Tree for you. Is this appropriate to open on camera? Yeah, we can, but do this thing. I just okay, it right all right. Now. Well, that's a surprise gift. All right, uh, the Mandalorian picked up Baby Yoda. And then ate him. If it says that, I'm very disturbed. The Mandalorian picked up Baby Yoda and started to go to the escape pod. As uh, Mandalore, he and Rex picked up on tattooing, and the shuttle carried the senator and the Time Lord. Oh, okay. All right. They were jumped uh, into hyperspace with the other warships. The convoy took off, along with the first repair freighter as well. Master of the Jedi Order, Thrawn, and Thrawn's chief of staff, Major Luxton, worked with Master Skywalker to send reinforcements. With the two extra ships as the main crew of the shuttle, the attack was planned and they made it to a Coruscant. Wow, okay. That, uh... Escalated quickly. Uh, considering the Time Lord is in there, so Doctor Who is involved. I want to see if it just gives me anything else if I just put that in. Just for shits and giggles real quick. Nope, nothing, nothing else. Okay. All right, that's interesting. Uh, so if you guys want to go ahead and 
see us do this again or if you have some specific ones you want us to go ahead and put into Dr. Transformer and you want to see it in a video send that to me on Twitter or Instagram or anything like that my messages are always open you can send them there or even just post them to me directly on Twitter or even in the comments below anyways guys uh, I guess I'm gonna open up a surprise gift real quick and then that'll be the end so you want to go get your surprise gift oh, real yeah. quick you said you needed this so I found it so I okay I don't, I don't know what I said I needed. Just as a quick interruption to the video that you're currently watching, uh, there were a couple of the ones that we did have saved on here that we did before about our cats that were really great. Uh, so I did just want to go ahead and include those in here real quick, just so that way you can get a good little extra laugh in there before I actually throw the final one in, because I think the final one is by far the most hilarious one of them all. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with the first one on here that my wife did. Uh, where she put it in about our cats. It's more, it's a lot better than the other ones that we got out of our cats on this video that we did. Um, so it says Jinx and Daisy. Uh, their names are Jinx and Daisy Johnson in this. The team leader in charge of the mission would not come through. They had been hit. They told Johnson and then shot them both. Jinx and Johnson managed to get to the bridge where they discovered that the ship's computer was still active and that the ship would not open anymore. When they entered the bridge, they found that all communications to the ship had been cut off, meaning that the crew had been killed. Johnson realized that she was trapped in the ship and told a distraught Jinx to shut down the ship's engines, which she did and tried to call for her help, but was unable to get through. Johnson and Jinx attempted to find the captain and find a way out, but were unable to. Eventually, Johnson became infected by the virus and... And then it just ends there. Sounds like a really great start. I wish we could have continued with more of this and just found the rest of the story. Uh, but then the second one, Jinx the black cat and Daisy the fluffy cat. The owners of the two kitties were both charged with cruelty to animals, but were found not guilty by a jury in January. A judge dismissed the case on the grounds of insufficient evidence, but the city attorney's office say that says that new evidence proves it's not a case of mistaken identity we yes exactly makes no sense we feel that uh, we have sufficient facts reasonable minds and reasonable steps that were taken to prevent the situation said city attorney david feldman the two cats the same ones as in january are currently being held at the animal care and control center where they're coming up with mistaken identity i have no clue uh, but I did just want to go ahead and include those in there because I thought they were really funny and interesting. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go back to the video now and see you later. As he waited for his surprise from his wife. His... Put with me. Penis got extremely erect. Well, I'm disappointed. <laughs> As he waited for his surprise from his wife, his penis got extremely erect. And to make a long story short, it dropped a million times on the tabletop <laughs> of his wife's desk. <laughs> what? Because of his exhaustion and exhaustion of a well-formed and powerful erection that drops your pants and gets out like that. Instead of pissing off his wife, which is what he usually does, yeah. he could have easily said, guys, can we talk about this? No, you talk to your penis like that now. And he could have provided some lube and explained his predicament, and all would have been well. But instead, he just threw... His dick on the desk and dropped it a million times. Okay, I don't know where the fuck that happened. Anyways, uh, let's switch this back over. Uh, apparently, I have a surprise gift from Dollar Tree. For your headphones. Oh, nice. Cool. I got one for because the other ones you use for the TV. Oh, so I can just, like, put put it on the side of the TV? Or something over Or here. on the back of the TV? I don't know about the yeah. back, but I'm saying since you have headphones over here to have headphones. Awesome! These things are awesome. They save lives, you know, so you don't trip on fucking cords and shit. Uh, but yeah, thank I saw you. I them at checkout, and there was That's just legit. legit two there, so I picked them up. I'm down with that. 
Anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and get on out of here. Yeah, I'm going to um, wa- uh, watch him drop his erect dick on my desk a million times. A million times from the exhaustion and the exhaustion. Then he's going to talk to it. And I'm going to talk to my penis. I'll record it. Uh, we're definitely not going to record yes. anything of me trying to talk to my penis. Because... Uh, ow! Ow! It's a joke! It's a joke! I'm lying! Okay! Fuck! Ow! Please stop! Okay, we're done there. Bye. Remember to subscribe. And like... And save my ear from getting ripped off. No!